Crowd here welcoming the Boston Bruins to the stage. They get set to make the third. First of all, pitch. I'd like to thank the city of Vancouver, the Vancouver Canucks, for their hospitality. Shout out to Maple Ridge. I'm going to have a fellow British Columbian, Dean Malcock, select our pick. Proud to select John Beecher. John Beecher, and now rack it up. It is number eight for the U.S. National Development Team. An amazing run here for this. Okay, okay so a couple of things. Bergeron, Krejci are getting a little older. Okay, so to me, John Beecher, this is not a shock to me at all. It's not a surprise. He's an elite skating center iceman. And people look at his points and his offense and go, well, it wasn't that high. Well, when you play behind Jack Hughes and Alex Turcotte, they score on the power play probably 30 seconds in, so there's no power play time for you. And to me, he's got a lot of ability to, to produce offense. He's learned how to use his skating and his size to his advantage. And to me, you look at the future for the Boston Bruins. They drafted Trent Frederick a couple of years ago. They got Jack Stadnicka. John Beecher is a nice fit for the Boston Bruins. And you know what he is? He's big. Yeah. <laughs> Six foot three, 212 pounds. And can I, skate like the wind. And, and I don't want to say that this is a reaction to playing against the St. Louis Blue team that was big and physical and strong against the Boston Bruins. But, I mean, the theory is not out of the question. Do you think at all that this draft is a reaction to what we saw in the final? Because this league had been trending smaller, been trending faster. And then we see Cole Caulfield slip, the best pure goal scorer. We saw two teams make the final. They played heavy, heavy hockey. Lots of big guys on the ice banging bodies. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it, it's one thing. Everything being equal, you want a bigger player. But you need competitiveness. And if you're not competitive, and what, what Bob just talked about with Cali added, right? So yeah. we talk about Ryan Suzuki. It's, there's no questioning their talents or their skills. But if you're not competitive, skill, uh, will is a skill. And if you lack it, and we just saw it in the Stanley Cup playoffs, you know what? You're going to have some challenges. And they're not getting any younger at center, by the way. Patrice Bergeron's not getting any younger. David Krejci's not getting any younger. Charlie Coyle's not getting any younger. They need some help down the middle. This, I, this smart pick, very smart.